Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of X-Plane 12. In this video today, I'm going to show you the difference between the Boeing 737-800 and the Zeebo's uh, modified Boeing 737-800 for X-Plane 12. Uh, the link to download the Zeebo mod 737-800 is given in the description. You can follow that link. And plus, there's also a video in which I have told you how to download and install uh, the Zeebo mod Boeing 737. I started uh, with x 11 almost uh, four and a half years back, back in uh, 2018. And uh, Boeing 737-800 was the first plane that I actually learned how to fly and uh, to configure the FMC and plus uh, um, um, complete an ILS approach and landing and all the things related to the Boeing 737 which was available in that plane. But with the passage of time, I learned something about uh, the Zeebo modif modified plane for Boeing 737. It is actually the modification of the original 737-800, which comes with the x 11. So in the x 12, the same scenario is there. The same 737-800 is there. And you can also download the Zeebo mod. Let's go and have a look at the default 737. Actually, I'm doing this video for the beginners who are, uh, who are actually new to the flight simulation. And they really want to have a good experience of the plane. In order to start um, as a beginner, uh, this plane is a good good option because when I started, I didn't go for the startup procedures. I simply uh, used to start my flight with the engines up and running and everything and only used to configure the FMC for the flight and uh, enter the flight route and that's it. But with the passage of time as Microsoft Flight Simulator came in, then I learned how to uh, do the startup procedures because honestly speaking, I have uh, watched some videos but as a beginner, it's very difficult to understand all the buttons and all the switches and everything during the startup procedures. And uh, mostly uh, some videos that I watched were not really clear. I couldn't understand. And for me, it was very difficult to actually learn how to do it. But with the Microsoft Flight Simulator coming in uh, and with the available checklist for the startup procedures, uh, which is the built-in feature for the Microsoft Flight Simulator, it made it easy for me to learn how to start the plane from the cold and dark state. So um, right now, um, obviously, I'm not going to do a flight. I will just uh, park the plane at, uh, um, at a gate over here. And, uh, and I will just show you uh, the difference between um, the Boeing 737-800, which is the default plane, and the Zeebo mod. So here I am at uh, the Islamabad International Airport and uh, parked at the gate. Now you can see that this Boeing 737-800 looks good. It's, it's a very nice plane. If I turn on the batteries and uh, plus the ground power is also available, I can connect the, uh, the ground power. One of the differences uh, that this plane has um, uh, with the, uh, if compared to the Zeebo Mod 737-800 is the missing uh, electronic flight bag, which is the EFB or the, or the tab, which is there on the right, through which you can also do the calculations uh, for the fuel and plus uh, for the weight and plus takeoff performance and landing performance and some PA systems you can control. So this is uh, one thing which is missing. Moreover, um, um, the alignment is already done. The navigation um, alignment for the iris, it's already set to nav and you can see uh, this information is already coming and I think you cannot interact with these buttons. But in the Zeebo mod, you can actually interact with it. This is one of the things and the features which is there in the Zeebo mod. Uh, moreover, uh, what else? Almost all the uh, features over here, they do work. You can see you can interact with all these buttons. Uh, recirculation fans, you can turn them on during the startup procedures. The packs, you can turn them on. And plus, uh, yes, you can also interact with the cabin pressurization settings, fuel pumps, lights. They are all active. Uh, moreover, your damper, yes, you can do this. And uh, the APU, obviously, it works. So uh, during the startup procedures, the buttons that are required, they, they totally work. And if I go for the stall warning test, the tests also work. So except for the iris navigation, um, mostly the features are functional in this plane. So if you want to, want to use this plane, you can use it. Oops. You can see the fire warning test is also working. This is how you disarm it. But otherwise, in the Zebo mode, you, if you move the switch uh, to the center, it turns off automatically. And uh, plus, uh, the cabin lighting, if uh, it's not really visible right now because uh, it's daytime. 
but the lights and everything uh, works perfect all right so it's a good plane and uh, mostly you can see uh, the features are working the main thing uh, um, is uh, the fmc or the flight management computer uh, which interacts with the flight uh, management system of the plane it's a very basic and simple one not um, the actual one if you have an experience of flying uh, the pmdg 737-800 or you have the experience of flying um, the zebo mod you will understand that the this uh, flight management system is slightly different or or almost uh, very different uh, from the one that you get on those planes uh, but as a starter, um, I think this is uh, a good plane uh, to interact and fly with. Uh, let me also um, um, change the time of the simulator because in the morning it looks good and everything is uh, visible. But uh, in the night, uh, there are um, uh, things which are not really visible. You have to actually zoom in and the graphics are not good. So let's uh, start this uh, flight again in the night time. So here I am again in uh, at uh, Islamabad International Airport and it's uh, night time. Now let's uh, turn on the lights. Okay. I just want to show you the comparison between uh, the default um, Boeing 737 and the Zebo mod. Because I found uh, uh, the, the graphics of uh, the Zebo Mod 737 in the night way better than the one in the default Boeing 737. As I was flying uh, the PMDG 737-800 in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I found some difference. Uh, so here it is. And um, you can see that uh, you, you can see the lights. I think, um, I don't know if you can uh, differentiate or not. But you can see it's it's very um, um, uh, kind of a of a dull thing, but it's got double lines as well. If I can if I can see it, if if I zoom out, and now once you zoom in, you see the color changes of the light. And plus, if you zoom out, you can see uh, the text is not really clear. So this is uh, one thing which I have experienced in this plane. Um, but as I told you before, it's um, in, in one of our videos that X Plane 12 is, in, is, is, a, is a new uh, flight simulator. And plus, it's the beta version, early access version, which is available to all of the people. Thank you to the Lemina Research for making it available for us. Now, because in the X Plane 11, um, I was having um, issues in the graphics. If you watch my videos for X Plane 11, you will see the frame rate is not really smooth, although the system is the same. But uh, once I'm using it in X Plane 12, you can see the movement is really smooth and I'm just really enjoying uh, the flights. Uh, I have done one flight uh, from um, um, Lahore to Islamabad using the Zebo mod. Everything worked perfectly all right except for the approach because in the Zebo mod when I was activating the approach, um, it was actually failing. So you can see that the moment you zoom in, the lights get clear and uh, plus I think it's, it's the outline that they have created. But uh, and plus, if you if you really zoom in, you can see that uh, the text is not really clear. Anyhow, um, just to uh, clarify one thing. But, but first of all, let me just uh, start the Boeing 737-800 uh, from uh, Zebo, and then we will talk about it more. So I'm again at Islamabad International Airport. Just let me uh, get the flashlight, aviation flashlight, and turn on the batteries. And over here, you can see you can uh, you have. Uh, uh, this uh, EFB available and uh, with the help of this EFB you can uh, uh, call in the ground services and I can connect the GPU in the Bo default Boeing 737 you can see that the ground services were automatically available if I turn off uh, now the aviation flat light flashlight I don't need it you can see uh, the graphics on the panel are much crisp and you know plus there is no change in the lighting once you uh, zoom in and zoom out and plus it's very clear the text as I was zooming into the uh, to the default Boeing 737-800 the text was not really clear so this is one of the difference and then I will now uh, get to the it's very dark by the way <laughs> it's really cold and dark state it's not <laughs> cold and dark state yeah okay let me get the flashlight and uh, okay floodlights and uh, okay 
And one more thing, if I go over here and if I get the lights for the pedestal, panel lights and plus uh, floodlight is not working. So currently I think due to some update, um, uh, the the floodlight doesn't work, which you can activate over here, but uh, the dome light works. If I go back and if I search for it, you can see the dome light works. So, but uh, the uh, the cabin is not really bright. The lights are not really bright, but this is one of um, uh, one of the things that you can that you can really ignore. And um, uh, there is also a progress going on. So hopefully, in the next uh, coming um, um, updates. Um, uh, this cockpit will be brighter but as you can see the text is really clear and almost all the features are working it's a, as i told you before it's a study level plane plus you can now you can interact with the with the iris systems and plus all the things warning systems the left one doesn't work oh the right one is also not working <laughs> oh, i don't know why but uh, it should okay it was working before or not i didn't do it i didn't uh, test it okay and uh, as you can see that the warning systems are also working okay and um, parking brakes yes when i downloaded uh, the pmdg 77800 for the microsoft flight simulator there's an issue with the parking brakes you can watch that video on my channel so the cockpit is not really really bright uh, but um, all the features are working um, with the electronic flight bag and plus you can also change many settings over here. If uh, you go here and you configure, you can have uh, the heads up display which is not available um, in the default 77800. If I go here and I, if I, I think it's in the systems, yes. And if you go back, you can see the heads up display as well. You can, you can, you can get the heads up display. Here you go but if you turn on the lights yesterday night when i was doing a flight it, it had some purple tinge in it hands, please be seated for departure. no this purple tinge is not there maybe it was because of the lighting or, or because of the airport or anything like this but it had some uh, purple purplish uh, glare in it but anyhow you can have the heads up display in the zebo and uh, yes now you can see this glare is coming and uh, this is kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, more it had to be reduced anyhow this is uh, related to graphics but the main difference that i wanted to tell it to the uh, to the beginners is this that you know if uh, you um, can download and install the zebo mod it's it's better to have this plane rather than using the default just to learn uh, the flight simulator the default one is really good but if you really get into the nitty-gritties of the flight simulation and everything then it's a good plane because over here you can see uh, this uh, fmc is uh, different and uh, plus uh, there are many things that you can interact with over here and uh, you can get the uh, takeoff performance and plus the takeoff performance calculator is also there as you can see i'll, I'll just show you over here if you go here um, I just wanted to do a very quick video just to show you, um, 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 uh, just to show you around. And uh, I think yes, over here you can you can have the takeoff performance and you can landing performance and plus uh, approach rating. You can you can do this uh, fuel truck call. I think it comes because it comes in X-Plane 11. Okay, and for the pushback, currently it's not working in the X-Plane 12 because uh, as I told you before, it's a beta version, um, early access version. And uh, uh, apart from that, I really enjoyed, I did one flight with X-Plane 12 Zebo Mod 737-800 and honestly speaking, I just really enjoyed it uh, because it's always um, 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 a delight to fly planes in X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12, except for the fresh rate in um, or the frame rate in x 11 it was not really good for me um, i had to um, um, reset my my system i'm not installing uh, the simulator on my ssd um, but i have a normal hd uh, hard disk drive hdd so maybe that was the reason but i'm using rtx 2080 with i7 and my memory is uh, 32 ram and the ram and i think for the graphic card for the vram it's 16 gb so it gives me a good performance over here in XP12 and uh, as a beginner I will recommend installing uh, the Zebo mod. There is just issue with the approach. I will also make a video in which I will show you and hopefully in the next update 
this will be solved. So this was a s small video just to show you the difference between the default uh, Boeing 737-800 and the Zebo Mod 737-800. If you've got any questions, do ask me in the comment section and I try to respond to all the questions in time. If there is a delay, kindly accept my apologies because as I've been telling, before, uh, telling you before in my videos that I've got a busy schedule. So at times I'm just late in uh, responding to your questions. And plus for any comments, uh, the comment section is there for you for any feedback. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.